one of the key mandates of the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection is child protection. Our, the attention of government has been drawn to reportage about the safety of children in our country, and we wish to condemn in the strongest terms possible the alleged stealing and sale of babies in Nairobi and in any other part of our country. This is unacceptable, and the government will deal with it very decisively. I warn those who are stealing or are selling children that they will be met with the full force of the law. And likewise, I'm warning those who are buying such children that they are equally guilty, and this is a criminal offense. Kenya takes pride in this protect in its protection of children for they are our heritage our assurance of tomorrow as a nation we take the issue of child protection very seriously a position that is reflected by our being signatory to several international conventions and protocols that protect the rights and welfare of our children this includes the United Nations Convention on Rights of the Child, United Nations Protocol to Prevent and Suppress and Punish Trafficking in Persons, especially uh, women and children, that is Polaramo Protocol, the African Charter on the Rights and Welfare of Children. Three weeks ago, Cabinet approved the new Children's Act 2020 which speaks to issues of adoption, guardianship, fostership, children institutions, and including violence against children. All these have been defined in this landmark bill. And these are some of the issues that have been collected through a lot of public participation and experiences that we have gained over time. The other issue that we have done in the recent past is appointment of adoption committee to process and uh, uh, to process the issues of adoption so that anyone any kenyan any parent who may not be lucky to get their own children there is a legal process to adopt children the ministry has children officers across 284 to all the sub counties in this country and where information on adoption can be, can be processed and be readily accessed. I want to encourage the members of the public to report any cases of violence or violation of children's rights, including trafficking through Child Helpline 116 or the police or other relevant government agencies.